Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Beyond Two Souls, where this episode we continue on and we go to the party. Um, and as you can tell, I'm taking the uh, the original path. I know there's a remix where they do a chronological timeline of how the path goes, but I'm choosing the original version, how the game was intended to be told. So we're going to the party right now, and uh, we will continue on after last episode we did the beginning, and then we did the experiments, and then the embassy, so... Remember guys, if you guys liked the episode, consider buying the game, there's a different experience for one that plays it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into Let's into Let's Play. Time to go. Oh, don't forget your present. It's a book of poetry by Poe. It's 50 years old and very rare. I'm sure she'll like it. Don't worry. It's gonna be alright. I'll pick you up at five. Have fun. This is interesting, seeing as it's our first time at a party. I wonder, can we walk away? No, we can't. What can we do? Because there uh, seems to be a lot of alternate paths to take. That's a nice house. I like this house. Should I knock or should I ring the doorbell? Let's see what goes on there. Jody, come in. Hi. Hey, Kirsten, you come in? I gotta go. Come in, Jody. Don't be shy. Hey, Jody, right? Come on, we're in the living room. Some girls from my school and the least dorky guys we could find. Oh, is that a present for me? Cool. Thanks. I'm off, darling. Look after your friends and don't do anything stupid, all right? Sure, Mom, whatever you say. Okay, well, like, to be honest with you guys, <laughs> like... A hint. Is that a football game one? Oh, that's Pittsburgh. No, that's uh, Notre Dame. Unit four with my mom. Unit four? The paranormal department. Ooh, what you do there? Bend spoons or speak to dead people? No. Stuff like that? No. Yeah. Party time. I'll get the beer. Guys, do the shutters. Girls, do the candles. And Jody, you can take care of the music. Let's get crazy! Notre Dame. I want to watch the game, though. Like, literally. I really want to watch this. Notre Dame, I don't know who the other team is. I can't tell. But yeah, these guys look too old for uh, Jody here. Um, Jody looks like she's like, like in maybe like 15, 14. These guys look like they're like 17, 18. So this is what I got to do, right? Just looking around, I guess. You know, these are pictures like the developers' families and stuff like that. And the developers themselves. Uh, where's the music? Oh, sorry. I messed that up there, didn't I? Sit it under my bed for a week. Just kind of looking around, see what's going on. Doesn't even go into my room anymore. She's totally oblivious. Kirsten, you're a genius. Jody, you want one? Ah! Oh! Peer pressure! No thanks. I, I, I don't drink. So. Oh, you don't know what you're missing, girl. After three or four beers, you'll see the world in a whole new light. Three or four. Nice. I went with no. Ah! It's there. Put it back down. No! I wanted to put it down. Just look cool. Just hold it and look cool. Ah, oh, damn it. I, I, think I'm, I think I'm stuck with this option. Oh, uh, yep. Looks like I gotta drink it. Put it down. There we go. That's all. That's it. Just have one drink. That's it. It's okay to taste it. Want some? No, thanks. Yeah, let's stay away from all this. 
Should I keep this pure as possible? Or do we just get her wasted? Is that the is that the plan? Is that the deal? Let's dance. Ah. I can't do this. Ah, I got it. There we go. Got it. Oh, yeah, she's getting down with it. There we go. Nice. Let's take a seat. seen you at school before you don't take classes on base I'm in a different program with with my own teacher right because I sure do remember if I'd seen you around before <laughs> so you work with Kirsten's mother yeah we work in the in the same lab she thought it would be a good idea for me to come and spend time with people my age so uh, here I am. <laughs> I used to live in, in London before I moved here two years ago. And you? Where did you live before? On, on the base. I, I, I've always lived there. I was born there. Do you have any hobbies? Anything you do for, like, fun? I surf any chance I get and I play in a band with a bunch of friends. <laughs> and you, what, what are you into? Social. It's gonna sound really boring. I, I like to read and I like sports. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't I, I can't leave the base, so it, it sort of limits things. Can I can I ask you something? Why are you in Unit Four? I sort of. gift. A link with an entity. An entity? You mean, you mean a ghost or something like that? Oh, well, this is gonna sound really crazy, but it's kind of like a, like an invisible presence that follows me. Is it, uh, is it here now? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Oh shit, you, you really got me going there. I mean, I was thinking you were completely nuts or something. <laughs> oh, slow dance. Are you, you up for it? Sure. Let's make her sociable. I knew, I knew I had to push that kidding button right there at that point. Okay, let's see if I can get this right, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be prompted to move some... Uh, I missed that one. You know, I'm sure you hear this all the time, but you're really pretty, you know. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. You're not so bad looking yourself. You're not like other girls. I mean, this. It's kind of weird special, playing this from a guy, from a girl's perspective of being a guy. Um. Uh, Thanks. You don't really know me. <laughs> That's what I thought. Oh, wait, no!
Thanks for the dance, Matt, but I, I think I'll pass. Guys, guys, why doesn't Jody give us a demonstration of her super mega powers? <laughs> no, great no, idea. No, I, I'd pay to see that. Ugh, forget it. It's just a little bull. Yeah, come on, Jody. Show us what you can do. Okay, Jody. You up for demonstration? No, no, no. I, I, I don't have, I don't have powers. <laughs> I told you so, guys. It's all bullshit. Right. Okay, guys. It's time to eat that delicious cake, and most important, to open my birthday gifts. Actually, the cake can wait. I'm opening my gifts first. Love, Jen. X, X, X. Oh, that's nice, babe. I bet it's knee socks. A thong! Just exactly what I needed! Now you can stop stealing your mom's <laughs> and improve your chances of finding a decent boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> My future lover wants to thank you for making his life more interesting. What is that? An old book. It smells funky. It's a really rare collection of uh, poems by Edgar Allan Poe. Hey, Curlin, who? What, did you steal this from your grandpa's library? No, no, and it's really rare. Yeah, just like your dress. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, is this a joke? I can't believe you came all the way to my birthday party just to give me this old crap. And she thinks she's so clever. Or she's just a little lab rat. A freaky little lab rat. Yeah, she's been following me around like a puppy all evening, begging for it. Oh, and she's a slut too. I never wanted to invite her. My mom made me. Yeah, she's a slut. A slut and a witch. We should, like, do something to her. What do you do with witches? You burn them. Get her! <laughs> okay, this is... Mighty power. <laughs> please, please let me One out. The first moment I saw I'm her. I'm begging you, please <laughs> let me out. Please. Did someone say cake? Please, oh, I want to get out. Please, I want to get out. I beg you. Yeah, let's get started. <laughs> Use your powers. I feel like I did that wrong. I feel like if I would have shown the powers off, they wouldn't have been. Get me out of here. Please. I feel like I would have used powers. It wouldn't have been as bad as it is right now, so. Here we go. Interesting. There we go. Boom. I should have. Ah, no. Can I go back? Oh, they deserve this. Go widen. They deserve this. I don't care. I didn't do it this time. They deserve this. I don't care. Shit, that's crazy. I'm getting out of here. Don't leave me alone. Okay, wait for me. <laughs> the door, it won't open. It's impossible. Try harder. I'm telling you, it's locked. Keep calm. There's, there's no reason to panic. Here, here's a reason for you to panic, though. They're locked! Guys, this is a joke. It's really 
Bro! Didn't mean to do that, but hey, that was kind of sweet. Just a bunch of drunk teenagers for all I care. I mean, go ahead, tell your mom. I did. Oh, wrong. Wrong way. I didn't mean to do that one. They deserve this, this is for sure. Yeah. Especially him. He's trying to get it all day, but then he pretends they. She was the one trying to get it? I was kind of weak right there. I don't know what that did there. I think that's enough. They deserved it. I don't care. I really don't. <clears throat> Let's see. Didn't get drunk, 68%. Um, pushed Matt away, 46%. Attacked the teen, 74%. Refused to smoke, 45%. Hide powers, only 60%. Uh, they didn't burn the house. Oh, I could have burned the house. Nice. No, I think that was, what I did to them was enough. That was enough, I think. First interview. Let's see what this is all about. Well, there seems to be some nice people out there who didn't show their powers, but I, on the other hand, But I'm just playing. He's the one who's going to be taking care of you from now on. He seems really nice. Go on, he wants to meet you. Go on, hurry up. I'll be right here. Sir. So we got in got control of the little girl now. Little Hello, Jody. Jody. Come in. My name is Nathan, Nathan Dawkins. I thought it would be a good idea for us to have a little chat, get to know each other a little better. That is, if it's okay with you, of course. Sure, let's sit down and talk. Grab the snow globe. You can have it if you want. Thank you. But I'll put it back down now. And I'll take that seat. Jody, my job is to study strange events and then try to explain them. Like the things that happen around you. Right, Johnny. Shrug. Your mother tells me you have an invisible friend. Say nothing. I can understand if you don't want to talk about it. But if you did, I could help you figure it out. This friend, has he been with you a long time? 
Yes. I don't know, but I'm going to say yes. Is he a ghost? Or a spirit of someone who passed away? Shrug. Can you draw him for me? Uh, yes. Oh, he said draw. I thought he meant like draw him, like bring him out, like, like draw him to this place. Can you draw him here? But this is going to be interesting to see, that's for sure. See what the see what our buddy here looks like. No peeking, Mister. Pressing a lot of X here. There's like very little things to do here, but it makes the game. Mind if I take a look? Makes the game interesting though. Definitely having all the choices that you get to make. An alternate so, path, wondering what other people did and that's this cool. Thing is your friend and he's connected to you with some kind of cord. Is he here right now? I'm saying yes to his questions because he's like he's the only guy that's been nice to Can us. Can you tell him to do something? I wonder, th yeah, this is a interesting kind of game that they decided to make here because I think if I would have played this chronologically, this would have been the first step, I, I believe. You the first interview would have been the... To do, and it happens. I don't tell I didn't what to do. No one does. He's like a lion in a cage. We're tied together. He can't go away. That makes him really angry. It's not my fault. I want him to leave too. It can be really scary sometimes. Did, did he do that to you? No. That was the monster. That was the monster. Like I said, this is the first interview, right? So if I would have done this chronologically, draw Aiden, show Aiden's powers. So it looks like most people did what I uh, what I did. Seventy seven percent drew him, eighty two percent showed Aiden's powers. So like, like I said, this is an interesting game because if I would have played this chronologically, I feel like I would have played this game a lot differently than I have so far. So it's pretty interesting mechanics to say to say the least and. And having having that sh like right now this screen where you, it shows what other players have done before you, it's pretty interesting to see how people play the game. It's uh it's pretty it's pretty cool and it makes you think. Okay, what could have happened? You see, there's alternate path and there's my path and then you know I could have done this and that and so many things. And even though like the controls are just really just walking around and pushing buttons, like walking around and maybe like uh, pushing X at the right moment, you know compared to other games where it takes like combos and all this uh, precise movement and jump to the game this game's like very simplistic on the controls but it's still so still so entertaining just because of the fact that they're like you get to decide what's going on you really know what's happening so it's it's pretty cool so like I mean if we go back to the party anyone could have taken that beer anyone could have done something else but this is what we decided to do so anyway so for the moment Everything's going okay. So remember, guys, if you guys like the episode, consider buying the games. Those are different experience from that. Please it. And come back tomorrow for a brand new episode of Beyond Two Souls. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And come back tomorrow for a brand new episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.